So you might be in a situation where the meta verification is not working or it's not available for Instagram or it's not available for you know, you know, Facebook. Now the reason why this may be happening is for a couple of reasons. So as you can see, if I come up here, it tells me to join the waitlist or whatever. But if I actually make my way over to my account verification panel here, if I click meta verified, you can see that my meta verified is not available. The reason for this is because I have not met the criteria yet for me to even get verified under meta verified. So if we go and take a look at this learn more button that comes here and you don't even have to click on it, I'll just go and show you here so you kind of get an idea. You want to make sure your account is in good standing. So you want to make sure you don't have any like guideline strikes or your account isn't continued to getting banned or blocked. Those things can happen all the time. But these are the requirements for your account to actually be you know, certified good by Apple. So here it says you want to be a public or private profile associated with your full name, aligned with naming standards, and have a profile picture that includes your face. So it can't be some crazy, like weird account. It can't be like a meme account. I don't think those can be under Meta, Meta Verified. It has to be your name. It has to be an actual public thing. It can be a brand or a company too, I think. You also have to have two-factor authentication enrolled. So if you do not have that on, that is probably going to be another thing a ton of people are going to have issues with. So make sure you have two-factor authentication on as well. They also mentioned that you have to meet activity requirements. So it says, you know, basically when your profile history, you have to have those minimum activity requirements in order for it to work. You have to also have a government issued ID that matches your name and profile and the profile photo. And you have to meet the terms of service and community guidelines. That last thing is either make it or break it. If you do not follow the terms of service, then really nothing else is going to click into place for you either here too. But if you do follow the terms of service and all these other things as well, then you should be good to go for the most part. And that's probably all you're going to have to do. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.